Number 12. The triceps muscle in the back of the upper arm extends the forearm. The muscle in a professional boxer exerts a force of 2 times 10 to the 3 newtons with an effective perpendicular lever arm of 3 centimeters, producing an angular acceleration of the forearm of 120 radians per second squared. What is the moment of inertia of the boxer's forearm? All right, so here's our boxer. So here's the muscle in the back of the arm. It is then attached to the uh, forearm. And what we're trying to calculate, it tells us now that the this muscle will produce a force. And by the way, it extends the arm, right? So when the tricep muscle contracts, it essentially pulls the forearm down in this way. Okay, so that should kind of make sense. I'm sure you've taken some anatomy or if not, uh, yeah. So here we have the force being applied in this particular distance, uh, excuse me, in this particular direction. Okay, this will represent the force. So let me just write that. That's the force. Okay, that's the vector. And they told us the value. It also tells us the effective perpendicular lever arm is three centimeters. Make sure you convert that into meters, so 0.03 meters. All right, that is then, you might say, well, where's that distance? That is the distance right between the elbow here, between this particular point and where the force is being applied. It's this little tiny piece in here, okay? So that right there is, and it's perpendicular, they told us, that distance is gonna be 0.03 meters. So think about this, your forearm rotates about the elbow. There is a force being applied at a distance to the axis of rotation. <gasps> torque? No. Is that a torque? Yes. Yeah, right, that's a torque, all right. So uh, we have a torque in the problem. How do you calculate torque? Well, remember back to last chapter, okay? Torque is simply equal to the force applied, multiplied then by the perpendicular lever arm or the distance, the perpendicular distance between this force vector and the axis of rotation. All right, so just keep that in mind. So now basically, we know that these two give us a torque. So what I'm thinking now to myself is these two values right here give me a torque. It also, the problem also says that this forearm will be rotating or has an angular acceleration of 120 radians per second squared. So it gave me an alpha. And then it's asking me to, what's the moment of inertia? I know that that thing is I. So I'm asking myself, what formula connects these variables together? And oh my goodness, it's right over here. All right, there it is. Bada bing, bada boom. So. Sum of the torques is simply going to equal the moment of inertia multiplied by the angular acceleration. Solve this baby for moment of inertia. Obviously that becomes now the sum of the torques over my angular acceleration. There's only one torque in the problem, so therefore this sum is just equal to this thing, right? The force multiplied by the perpendicular lever arm. So substitute that bad boy on in. So we get force multiplied by the perpendicular lever arm all over the angular acceleration. And there you have it, voila. So, moment of inertia is the force applied, so 2.00 times 10 to the third, multiplied by that perpendicular lever arm, 0 0.03 meters, and then divide that now by 120 radians per second squared. And lo and behold, plug it into the calculator, so 2 times 10 to the third times 0 0.03 divided by 120, and we get a value of 0.5. So 0.5, and I guess we'll do three sig figs, even though some, you know, there's no decimal here. So I know it to be two, but some sometimes they say, well, it could be three. I don't know, whatever. So 0 0.50, uh, the units then of moment of inertia, you can memorize this or you can, you can always get it from deducing the fundamental units in the force and in the lever arm, but you should be left with a value of kilogram times uh, meter squared. Those are the units. All right, thank you guys. Easy video here, simple problem, not bad. Make sure you study hard, keep up the good work, all right? And uh, subscribe, hit that like button, and help us grow. Thank you very much.